What's up guys, my name's Apprenti and welcome back to another episode of The Beer List. Today we have a modern classic and that is Brewdog's Punk IPA. It says modern classic on the bottle, it's like what I did. Anyway, so this is one that I have tried before. I like Brewdog, however I was drunk so I don't really remember too much about the flavours and everything. But Brewdog, basically a quick summary of the company, it is a Scottish company that was founded in Frisborough uh, in 2007, it's now in Ellen uh, up north. But, about their Punk IPA, it says Brewdog Punk IPA Postmodern Classic has a Brewdog logo there which is, funny enough, a dog. Um, Okay, access all areas. Punk isn't just an uncompromised, hard-hitting IPA, which stands for Indian Pale Ale, in case you weren't aware. It's poor. Uh, it's portal. It's a portal, sorry, to a world of possibilities. A brewdog. We've always been shortening the distance between ourselves and those who drink our beers. Punk is the ultimate uh, escapade of that philosophy. We believe that is that this beer defines us and a whole great new generation of beer geeks. Punk IPA kicks uh, against the boldness of mainstream brewing and offers a real alternative and embodies the DIY ethic given birth to, uh, to in the shed. Uh, it's, now leading, it's now leading the revolution. Whether you're a craft beer version or a veteran punk delivers and then some is more than a beer, it's a catalyst to craft allowing access to a sensory world of discovery and choice. Wow, that is a lot. I'm impressed that I read that most of that without a hitch because I am dyslexic. Um, the rest of it is not really important. I love how like they all have numbers on them. All the Brewdogs all have different numbers and they're all like sort of embroidered with like braille. So, we're going to get this open. Ah, smells really nice as well. I love the smell of Brewdog stuff. Right. Okay, there we are. Nice golden colour. It is an IPA, which is an Indian Pale Ale style drink. So it is, sorry, I don't need to what percentage. It is 5.6%, which is really on the high side for an IPA. But here we go. Beautifully balanced, nice flavour on the palate. Classic IPA taste. Slightly grapefruity, but I like it. It's really, really something. Mmm. I like this. I really do genuinely like this. It's definitely something that I could drink on a regular basis. It's not quite as good as the birds and bees that I had last time. Because of that, I'm gonna give it, say, an 86, which is still a really strong score. 86 out of 100, drop it into that second place position, but. I do like it, it's something I'd order, it's something I'd drink. Definitely recommend you guys pick it up at home. If you do, please make sure you drink responsibly. Anyway guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button. If you're actually angry, I'd appreciate it. If you are new around here as well, please make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any beer suggestions for next time, make sure you let me know what they are in the comment section down below. I do plan to do a lot of more common and well-known beers once I have established a list of 10, just so you guys can see where they stack up compared to everything else. If you want to check any of my social media, the links to them will be in the description. Other than that guys, until next time, I've been The Prentai, and I'll see you in the next one.